good morning E5 kids. I hope that you're having a great time on your summer holidays. Now we're going to start today with a quiz to see if you remember what happened when Jesus fed the 5,000. Now we looked at this story about two weeks ago, but it's always really good to do a recap and to see how much you actually remember. So here's a short Bible trivia quiz. Are you ready? So the first question is for 100 points. What food did a young boy have with him? Was it A, seven grapes? B, two melons and two fish? C, two fish and five barley loaves? Or D, five barley loaves and a fig? The answer is C. The young boy had two fish and five barley loaves. Well done if you got that one right. The next question is for 200 points. How many people gathered to hear Jesus teach? A, 500 men plus women and children. B, 5,000 men plus women and children. C, 1,000 men plus women and children. Or was it D, 2,000 men plus women and children. The answer is, of course, B, 5,000 men plus women and children. The next question is for one million points. What is another name for the Sea of Galilee? Is it A, Lake Tiberius? B, the Dead Sea? C, the Mediterranean Sea? Or is it D, the Water of Marone? The answer is A, Lake Tiberius. Well done. The next question is for a bunch of points. I think we'll give you 500. In which place were Jesus and his disciples when he fed the people? Was it A, on the beach? B, on a hill near Lake Galilee? C, in a forest near Lake Galilee? Or was it D, on a boat in the Sea of Galilee? The answer is B, on a hill near Lake Galilee. If you got that right, you got a bunch of points. Well done, 500 for you. The next question is for four points. Why did Jesus ask Philip, where shall we buy bread for the people to eat? Was it A, to test him? Or B, he needed to buy bread to feed the people? Was it C, he was hungry? Or was it D, he wanted Peter to buy bread for everyone? The answer is A, to test him. Well done, four points for you. The next question is for a gazillion points. What did Jesus do when he held the loaves of bread? Did he A, bless it? Was it B, that he sold it? Or C, did he eat it? Or D, did he drop it? The answer is A. Jesus took the bread, held it up to heaven and blessed it. This question is only for a few points. I tell you what, I'll give you two. After the people had eaten, how many baskets of food were filled with leftovers? Was it A, eight baskets? Was it B, 10? Was it C, 11? Or D, 12? The answer is 12 baskets were left over. This question is for another 500 points. Which feast was about to begin? Was it A, Passover? 
B, the Feast of the First Fruits. C, the Feast of Trumpets. Or was it D, the Feast of Unleavened Bread? The answer is D, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. The next question is worth so many points, I'll give you 6,000. Which region did this event take place? Was it A, Galilee? B, Gozan? C, Israel? Or was it D, Zebulon? The answer is A. Galilee. If you get this next question right, you can double your points. Where did Jesus go after he had fed the crowd? A. Did he sail away on a boat? B. To pray on a mountain by himself? C. To meet with his 12 disciples? Or was it D. He continued to talk with the large crowd? The answer is B, to pray on a mountain by himself. Thanks for playing Bible trivia and well done for getting loads of points. Don't worry if you got some of the questions wrong. I'm sure if you play again, you will remember all of them. Now, last week we started a new series looking at some of the people that Jesus healed. And you guys did a craft with Rebecca using plasters and a heart. Let's take a look at some of your brilliant work which you've been sending in, starting with the lovely Abigail, who done this brilliant piece of work. Great job. I love the colours that you've used this week, boys. I hope you've still got some plasters left at home. Haven't Phoebe and Felicity done well? What neat handwriting, girls. I absolutely love it. Super job, Joel. And you've coloured in your heart very well. Amazing work, Anastasia. And you have listed so many illnesses that Jesus healed. You all did so well this week. Now, Rebecca will be back later on showing us how to make a pair of glasses. It sounds like so much fun. Make sure you join in and don't forget to send us a picture of your craft. Listen, the email address is here on screen right now. You know what to do. But right about now, we are going to start with praise and worship. So let's all stand together and I'll tell you what, let's raise a hallelujah. a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies I raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief I raise a hallelujah I wear Hallelujah Heaven comes to fight 
Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. And you have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. been so so kind to me Now, the interesting thing with Jesus is that every time he prayed for someone, that person got better immediately and completely. Jesus healed people who asked for healing. There are several times in the gospel where it states that they brought all who were sick to Jesus and he healed all of them. If you came to Jesus to be healed, you would leave healed. So why did Jesus heal people? Now sometimes it was for compassion. Sometimes it was to show God's kingdom coming in power. Jesus preached that life would be transformed and he transformed people's lives physically as well as spiritually. Let's watch this video that shows Jesus healing a blind man. As Jesus and his disciples were going into Bethsaida, some people brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch the man. Jesus took him by the hand and led him out of the village where he spat into the man's eyes. He placed his hands on the blind man and asked him if he could see anything. The man looked up and said, 
I see people, but they look like trees walking around. Once again, Jesus placed his hands on the man's eyes, and this time the man stared. His eyes were healed, and he saw everything clearly. Jesus said to him, You may return home now, but don't go into the village. Jesus and his disciples went to the villages near the town of Caesarea Philippi. As they were walking along, he asked them, What do people say about me? The disciples answered, Some say you are John the Baptist, or maybe Elijah. Others say you are one of the prophets. Then Jesus asked them, But who do you say I am? You are the Messiah, Peter replied. Jesus warned the disciples not to tell anyone about him. There was not much medicine or technology in Jesus' day. For instance, there was no wheelchairs for people who find walking hard, only walking sticks. There wasn't even proper crutches. There was no guide dogs or hearing dogs, and there was no system of braille. People with physical disabilities wouldn't be able to go to work, and there was no government benefits to help. Now, how do you think it was like not being able to walk or to see in the time of Jesus? How could people help their friends who had physical problems to overcome? Now, it is no wonder that once people discovered that Jesus could heal, crowds of people flocked and followed him wherever he went. Now, I want you to read Matthew chapter 4, verse 23 to 25 with your adult. Then I want you to answer the questions on screen. What three things did Jesus do? Now, what sort of people were brought to Jesus to be healed? Why do you think crowds of people follow Jesus wherever he went? Why do you think Jesus healed people? How do you think healing people proved that Jesus was special? Now, do you think all those people would have come to listen to Jesus if he didn't heal people? to this week's craft. In this week's craft you will need a black piece of paper or you can have a plain piece of paper and colour it black, it's fine. Another piece of paper, maybe plain or any bright colour. Some pipe cleaners, one or two is perfect. Some scissors, a glue stick and a pen. I'll give you one minute to grab those items. Welcome back. So the first bit we need is our black piece of paper. We are going to cut out an outline of some sunglasses, just the front of the sunglasses. So if you get a pen, you might need a bright colour um, to draw onto the black of where you want what you want your sunglasses to look like. I'm sure some of you will look quite trendy ones. Basically, you want two semicircles. So cut them out. I will show you, but you're not really going to see it. Um, but I will cut out the stick. Okay, so. Mine's roughly about this size. Straighten that up. Okay, so now we're going to cut out the semicircles. circles. 
hope you've all been having a good week. It's lovely to have the sunshine back. It's very hot. Okay, I'm going to try and get the same circles. Same sort of size. It is tricky, so you might want your parents to help you. So that's what they look like so far. Like very bad, but we will do. Okay, so we've done that bit. Now, using your scissors and helping your parents from the co corner of each bit. So one here, you do a little hole. So I'll make it, and then I'll show you to make a hole like that, and then at the other end, make a hole. Two whole life sizes, one here and one there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I'm just come a bit closer, I think. So you've got two holes, one here, one here, perfect. So with our pipe cleaner, these are gonna become like the arms for our sunglasses. So you're gonna push them through, hopefully it's not through, yeah. Perfect. Leave a little bit, and that's what you're gonna fold over. You're gonna fold that over just to keep them together. So you can fold, and the good thing with pipe cleaner is you can twist it. So it goes so it's like attached like that. So I've just folded it and twisted it. And then obviously depending on what, we'll put the other one in, and then we can figure out what size we need. So put your pipe cleaner in. If you only have one pipe cleaner, then you can probably cut it in half and you'll still probably have enough room for what we need. Fold in this one. Okay, so I've got some really long sunglasses now. So you can measure them up to the sort of length you need. Fold them. <laughs> This is the fun bit. Fold them over to wherever you want. Okay, so once you fold them over, you can then either cut the pipe cleaner, which I'll try and do. But it can be a little bit tricky to cut. Okay, so. Got mine folded over. Okay, so we've got the outline of our glasses done. They look pretty cool. Okay, so now this is where we need our other piece of paper. So you can flatten your sunglasses back down. And this is where you can have any colour piece of paper. You are going to cut out two smaller semicircles to fit on the front of your glasses. So you can use your sunglasses as a sort of line to help know the sizes. So I'm just going to draw around my sunglasses and then I know to cut a little bit smaller than what that is. They don't have to be the same size, so that's alright. Like that once you've filled it in. 
So once it fit, you can stick it down with a glue stick. Plenty of glue. You don't want to do what I just done. Mine just ripped. But you should be able to fix that. So put this one down. So you have to be careful with the glue in because the paper is quite thin. Stick them onto the middle of our sunglasses. Okay. So that's what mine's looking like at the moment. I'll put them on. Okay, so once you've got your other piece of paper in the middle, that's brilliant. In the middle, on the paper, we are gonna write Jesus opened the eyes of people who were blind. And on the other side, we're going to put Matthew 20, verses 29 to 34. So you might have to write quite small, but I'm sure you can write it. So it's Jesus opened the eyes of the blind. Okay, and then on the other side, I'm going to put Matthew 20, verses 29 to 34. Okay, so you see, I've put Jesus opened the eyes of the blind, and I've got our verse. And now, I've got some very funky glasses to wear. Ta da! Very cool. We're gonna be the cool kids of the block. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that's our craft done. I look forward to seeing you all again on Wednesday for Bible study. It was great to see all boys again this week. We've had some great fun together and it's just be lovely to see you all. So on Wednesday at four o'clock, I hope to see you all there. Enjoy the rest of your week and your summer holidays. Mm -hmm.